This is Duke University. Reynolds was supremely a man of the word, lover of scripture, which he translated so powerfully, lover of literature, ancient and modern, since it was all equally alive to him, and of course, producer of his own memorable words, written and of course spoken as well, since many would regard his conversation as being his greatest masterpiece. Reynolds often mentioned how important friendship was in his life. And one of the most striking passages in clear pictures is the one where he says, with a single exception, I'm in regular touch with every person I've loved to speak only of the living. And fortunately, many of those he loved are gathered here today. In a real sense, it was writing Kate Vaden that saved Reynolds' life. There were good doctors, sure, but Kate gave him the will to live, a place to ground his fears, his hopes, his excruciating pain, and his humor. She would go on to win the National Book Critics Award in so many prizes, but the real prize she gave us was Reynolds himself. As Kate Vaden got cancer and beat it, so did her author, who always the overachiever, when given only months to live, pushed on for 25 more years. In the end, now, what has happened for me is a coalescing of the real and the imagined memories. When I think of him now, he is one, the man who gave me faith of many sorts, but above all, faith in language, as a path to wisdom, as healing medication, as revelation of something even beyond words. No aching for the future, gazing onward, but calm resolve to honor even death. So we learn earthliness and serve its needs and never feel its ample hands grow strange. Produced by Duke University. Online at duke.edu. Why they call it like they do. I was wondering since he gave you two gown on copper line.